Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $103,467.31. In the past year, I am up $28,953.24. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $11,359.56. It doesn't show the daily gain or loss anymore because it's already past midnight, so technically it's tomorrow. But I think I gained about $500 today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $195. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $72. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $60. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $0. I have a target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025, and I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th of this year. My total return, $173. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, zero. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I'm down $46. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I'm down $275. I have McDonald's $210, $200 with credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $400. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,240. I have Verizon $35, $33 with credit spreads. Expiring December 20th, my total return $803. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th, my total return zero. Disney $70 calls expiring December 19th, 2025. My total return $2,276. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $175.70. My average cost $98.94. My total return $23,033.95. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.68. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $12,340.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $91.68. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,672. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $166.23. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,375. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,419.30.
My margin used is $61,719.94. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,699.36 in buying power. The margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,971.74. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $11.05. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So, like I said, um, mostly my investing strategy is very hands off. It's very passive, you know. Uh, I don't actively change my positions day to day. Sometimes they just stay the same for weeks or even months. Um, and in the time that I'm just waiting for things to expire, I'm actually doing things outside of my portfolio. I don't make enough videos about that, but, um, I do do a lot of things, you know, outside of YouTube and portfolio updates and what, um, but yeah, the reason why, um, I'm doing these videos so late at night is because there's so many things for me to do. Um, my room's a mess right now because I'm busy packaging things up and whatnot. Um, I'm also getting into um, card collecting, and hopefully that will pay off as well. Um, if everything goes right, that's going to result in me gaining many, many thousands of dollars um, in about a year or two. But yeah, I've been doing things and investing in things outside of what you see here in my portfolio um, so yeah I mean my portfolio is this is mostly passive income I'm not actively doing anything so uh, outside of here there are things that I actively invest my time in like I have to trade my time and energy and you know labor for money um but for, in terms of my portfolio, this is mainly passive income, you know. I just have positions and then I just sit back and do nothing. That's passive. But there are things that I have to do um, for money that is not so passive, you know. It takes time to go to the box store, buy boxes, buy tape, tape things up, get the materials. Uh, ship things out to USPS. I mean, yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyways, um, yeah, I just, I, the thing is, even though I'm still super busy, I still want to make these videos so you guys can see how my portfolio is doing. And it's doing fine. I mean, I'm at $103,000 now, so I think that's fine. Now, like I said, I don't really pay attention to this or worry about this too much. I think I'm confident in the long run that I'm going to do well, but, um, you know, the time that, you know, where I am actually spending my, uh, my active time in is uh, selling things offline, you know, off of my portfolio. And I do make some videos about that, but mostly this channel is mostly just my portfolio updates. So you guys only see this part of my finances and how I'm investing my time and money. But realistically, this is only one part of it. Uh, my overall finances, it involves much more than what you see here in my portfolio. Anyways, I'm rambling on too much, but honestly, that's really where I'm at right now is that all of this, it doesn't even matter to me right now. I'm just sitting back and doing nothing. The, look at the, these expire like in December at the end of the year. Right now it's still August. You know, what am I going to do? So I'm still going to make portfolio updates, you know, for my audience, for you guys. But realistically, myself personally, it's going to be several months until these expire. So I don't really pay attention to it too much. Unless, you know, something crazy happens, you know, like something crashes or it goes up too much, then I step in and I actually 
uh, do something, but for the most part, if everything's going fine, then I just sit back and do nothing. Alright, um, I guess that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very late at night right now, that's why uh, I'm talking low and, uh, you know, trying to just do my best to still put a video out while still being, uh, exhausted, I guess. Anyways, yeah, I guess I'll end on a note, um, it's a reminder that your portfolio is not everything, <laughs> you know, it's only one part of your finances. Realistically, you have to think about, um, the money that's coming in, um, you know, what are you, what are you doing for money? Are you doing side hustles? Are you doing other things like that? Uh, and then also your expenses, like, you know, how much are you spending on, uh, your mortgage or rent or food, etc. I mean, personal finances, it involves much more than your portfolio. Anyways, I'm, I'm rambling on too much. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to give you guys an update on what my portfolio is like right now. But honestly, I, I, I don't really worry so much right now. I'm spending my time on other things. All right. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.